Hello everyone, welcome to Yo's Home Cooking. My name is Young and I am Catholic. Today is Ash Wednesday, so I have ash on my forehead. Today I'm going to also show you how to make Korean food. It's fermented soybean paste with the vegetable. The Korean name for this dish is tenjang jjigae. When I was a little girl, my grandmother made the fermented homemade soybean paste every year. She used the soybean paste to make the most delicious bean paste to stew. Tenjang jjigae is one of the most popular stew in the Korea over the past several hundred years. The stew is known as comfort food in Korea and is eaten all year round. Bean paste stew is very healthy and is easy to make. This is a stone pot it's called in Korean names tukbaegi. I'm going to brush run olive oil all around and some sesame oil. Brush around. It's on medium heat. I'm going to let it get hot. So today total I'm going to use about five ounces of potato. As you see, I cut its cubic size. I'm gonna put that in there. And a half and a half onion. I'm gonna saute them for a while. I'm gonna saute them. Then I'm gonna cut zucchini. I cut about half inch thickness. I have eight ounces of zucchini. I'm gonna saute this for a couple minutes. I wanna put this in the bowl to be hot. Reason I use this bowl is I only have a small bowl. This is, is a half a quart size. Most to bag it, the stone part is like one quart to two quart. I'm going to put in onion and the rest of the potato. I'm going to saute them just like I'm going to saute them just like in a stone pot. Couple minutes. I'm going to cut mushroom. This is a shiitake mushroom. I have a three shiitake mushroom here. I cut size to like not quite half inch size. And I have a tube here. It's about one inch size. Cut the tobo. And I slice some jalapeno. It's an option. You don't like it, this kind of jalapeno, you don't have to put it inside. So I'm going to make a one, one serving here and another serving here because I have a small stone pot. I'm going to put about one cup vegetable broth and one cup vegetable broth here. You can use a chicken broth, or a beef broth, or a seafood, any kind of broth you want to use, it's beef or anything, or even seafood broth. But I'm going to show you how to make a seafood broth after finishing this. See this bean paste? See this size, the left size, I made that last year. I made that this homemade, and then this right side is, uh, uh, I bought it at the store. So I don't have enough, so I'm just gonna use a half, half of bean paste, and a half of the, as you see, very generous heaping uh, this tablespoon, and I'm gonna put the rest of them here. I'm using one spoon to uh, spread up all this bean paste evenly, because bean paste tennis doesn't want to spray. Now I'm going to put half this co co Korean co gochujang. I'm going to put a half of this gochujang in here, this side, then also this one, this side, not the half. Now, this is totally option too. If you do not want anything spicy, 
you don't have to because of this go hot bean paste. It's called gochujang. It's kind of a little spicy. I'm going to try this. We use a wooden spoon to press down. It will all centigrade. I'm going to put some half of a black, black pepper, but it's actually one fourth teaspoon black pepper, but I'm going to spread half. Half a teaspoon crushed garlic and a half a teaspoon crushed garlic in here. Then I put a half teaspoon soy sauce and a half a teaspoon soy sauce. I'm going to put some jalapeno here and jalapeno here. Then also I'm going to divide a half of stack mushroom and this both. So total I used three stack mushroom today. Then I'm going to put half of zucchini here. Then half zucchini over here. Then also half of tofu here. Total I use eight ounces of tofu today. And then I put half in there. And you're going to cut green onion to one inch size. I'm going to let it boil for about totally boiling time is 10 minutes. You need to stir once in a while so that's but it's not burning, but just so they will cook evenly. I add on a half onion, green onion here, and also half a green onion. I use total two pieces of green onion. And I'm going to put some, a little bit like a one fifth of a bell pepper. For the bell pepper. I'm gonna let it cook for another minute or so. Should be ready. It's been cooking for about nine minutes and it's all done. So I'm going to shut the burner off. Nice thing about this bowl, you can serve like this total bowl. It comes like a tray. I'm gonna use You can serve just like this at on the, take it to your table. The stone pot comes with a one core size or two core size. This is a half core size. You, you don't have to use a stone pot, a cut baggie. You can use you no know, saucepan. It looks so delicious. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely delicious. It is just amazing. It tastes almost like my grandmother used to make. Now I'm going to show you how to make seafood broth. I'm going to add two cups of water. I have this total four anchovy. I deveined it, but I'm going to just put that in here. I'm going to let it boil for five minutes and uh, medium heat. And I use kelp, it's about five inch by five inch size kelp. And, uh, four piece anchovy. It has been boiling for five minutes. I'm gonna shut the burner off. I'm gonna show you how to strain this fish sauce. Use a noodle screener. So it's two cup of seafood broth you made. So you can use this to make Tenjang jjigae or soybean paste stew. This 
broth is just made with anchovy and kelp. I made this stew with vegetable broth. Nice thing about this stew is you can make with seafood, just like it, anchovy and kelp, or pork, beef, or chicken, or just vegetarian style to make it your favorite stew. Thank you for watching my videos. Please click on the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching my video.